hello friends so welcome to this new video so in this video we are going to discuss top three tips if you are working on one power bi project right so these are the most useful tips while working on any power bi project right so the first tip is based on conditional formatting first we will understand the basic use of conditional formatting by this word conditional formatting we can judge what it means right so conditional formatting means we are going to format our visual based on some condition okay we will see one example okay so the example of conditional formatting what i can give we can draw one bar visual visual okay so in this bar visual on x-axis what we will keep on y-axis we will keep year on year growth percentage okay and on x-axis we can keep month okay now if you observe carefully some are positive value and some are negative value right for some month yoy percentage is positive and for certain months yoy percentage is negative but if you keep your visual like this it will not look that good right so what we can do we can format this visual based on the condition and the condition will be if the numbers are positive give it in different color if the numbers are negative please uh, format this visual in different color we'll see how to do this right so the first thing is you have to select the visual for this okay so this visual we have selected then go to format your visual option in this format your visual we have to format this columns right so that's why we have to go to this column okay so here default color is selected which is this blue color right so instead of this default color what you can do you can use this function icon right so this is the icon for conditional formatting okay just click on this icon so now what we can do here see the first thing here is format style so right now the selected is gradient so instead of gradient you can select rules here right now we will develop one rule and based on that rule that the column will get colored okay or the column will get formatted so the rule will be if year uh, sum of yy percentage okay if the value is greater than or equal to zero and instead of percent we'll select number here if the value is greater than or equal to zero and for this we'll just remove this zero then if the value is greater than zero we want green color right and if the value is less than zero so for adding one new rule just you have to click here new rule okay if the value is lesser than zero okay then select red color okay now positive value should be in green color and negative value should be in red color right so just click okay and see so these were the positive values so these are now in green in color and these are the negative values so these are in red in color so if you add any data to this particular visual right and if the value becomes negative so it automatically becomes red in color so this is called as in conditional formatting and after that you can just remove the background of this visual so for removing the background of visual we know we have to go to this general go to effect and remove the background like this just disable the background okay so this is called as a conditional formatting okay so this is one of the most important tip which we are going to use in our future power bi project okay now we will see what is the next step so after conditional formatting the next step is organizing measures and aligning the object okay so first we will discuss aligning object okay so let's say we have created some of the visuals like this okay now we have to align this so these are not aligned let's say okay we have to align this object so what will be the best way of aligning so the basic way is we will just drag this like this okay and you can see that red line so it will tell the position of that particular uh, visual right so this is one of the basic way instead of this what you, you can do you can just select the visual by pressing control okay we have selected these three visual now go to format option here one option is there for align and just click on this drop down and select align at top so this three visual will be aligned at top now they are not aligned horizontally so what we can do again just click on this drop down and select distribute horizontally 
so the space between these two visual will be same right now let's say we want to align these three visual vertically so what we will do we'll just select these three visual uh, go to format click on the drop down just select align left okay and again just select drop down align distribute vertically now see these are the these visuals are aligned now okay now the one more thing was there in this shape and it was organizing measures so we know while creating any power bi project right we have already seen in our different dashboard we used to calculate something and that calculation is called as measures right for example we have one table here sheet 77 okay we have one table here and let's say we are creating one measure just click on this one new measure okay and uh, let's say the measure will be total sales total sale will be equals to sum of all sales like this okay so uh, we know how to create measures and all right so let's say some of our measures are in this table and some of our measures are in this table so it doesn't look good right uh, so it will create complications sometimes so what you can do you can add one blank table right how to add blank table just go to home select this one enter data okay create one new table and give the name of the table as measure this will be the best practice right now just click on load so one new table will get created and the name of the table will be measures see new table is loading the name of this table is measure so here the table is measures right now what you can do you can just click on this drop down just right click this and here in this table create all measures so that all of your measures will be at one place okay so measure one equal to sum of all order like this you can create all measures right similarly let's say you are creating the second measure so measure 2 will be equals to sum of all sales like this so this will be the best practice or uh, to collect all the measures in one single table otherwise what we can do just go to this one model okay here all tables will be there now what you can do see uh, let's say uh, we have some measure we have created some measure in this table HR data set and we have some measure in this table sheet 77 so what you can do see now let's say we have to move the measure from this sheet 77 to this measure table so what you will do just right click on the sheet 77 select uh, click here on select measures okay so all measures are selected now see there is only one table which is t uh, one measure which is t sales right so one measure is selected and now here change the home table so home table select it as measure right now this t sales will be moved to this measure table similarly there are certain measure in this table as well hr data set so what you will do just right click this okay select measure so all measures will get selected okay and change the home table to measure okay now all measures will be moved to this minute now your all the measures are at one place so this will be the best practice while creating any power bi project or while working on any power bi project okay so that editing of that particular project will be more easier done now the third and the most important thing let's say you are working on one power bi project in which you will go you are going to create multiple pages right like this in this project we have like four to five pages so the first page will be home the second page is employee analysis the third one is salary and satisfaction analysis and the fourth page is employee detail now we have to do something like this if you click on this home button it should redirect to home page if you click on this employee analysis button it will redirect to uh, it
it should redirect us to employee analysis page if we click on this salary and satisfaction analysis it should redirect to the third page which is salary and satisfaction analysis if you click on this employee detail it should redirect to this fourth page now how to do this this is very easy see for this you don't have to take any shape right what you have to do you have to go to insert right in insert select this option button okay select blank button like this okay so this is the blank button then just give the name of this button okay so i have given the name as home employee analysis salary and satisfaction analysis and employee detail now what you have to do just select this button okay go to format visual option so in this format option just select button here and in but under button there are four options shape rotation style so in shape you can select the shape of the button rectangle rounded rectangle like this rotation you can rotate the button style uh, you can just uh, select the font size and all in this and the last option is very important action so for page navigation you have to use this action okay enable this action so on first you have to select the type of action so the type of action will be page navigation here okay and destination so for home page we are right now at home so the destination will be none okay and just save it okay now select the second button so employee analysis you have to enable the action again select page navigation under type and the destination will be employee analysis okay so now let's check whether it is working or not so if we click on this employee analysis it should redirect us to this second page right let's click on this one so if i click on this page so it is redirecting us to the employee analysis page okay so similarly we will do for salary and satisfaction analysis and employee details okay so just select the button enable the action under action select page navigation and select salary and satisfaction analysis right similarly for employee detail enable the action page navigation as type and destination will be employee detail okay now let's check whether it is working or not so if you click on this employee detail it should redirect us to employee detail if you click on this salary and satisfaction it will redirect us to this if you click on this employee analysis it will redirect us to this if you click on home it will redirect us to home like this the page navigation work so these are the top three tips which you are going to use in your future power bi project and these are one of the most important tips okay so thank you for watching this video i hope you have liked this video so we are coming up with a new dashboard in our next videos thank you